If you're looking for a creamy, comforting soup, you've got to give my broccoli cheese soup a try. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. You're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. First off, let's get our prep work out of the way. This soup comes together so quickly, but there is some chopping to do. So grab that broccoli, get the carrots, onions, garlic, etc. For this recipe, I'm using two big heads and it's really up to you. If you like a ton of broccoli, add an extra head in there. Cut the florets off. And for this recipe, you need to have small pieces that can fit onto your spoon. So you're gonna to wanna to cut them a little bit smaller than you might think. And by the way, this is not garbage. In my humble opinion, the stock is actually the best, most sweet part of the broccoli. So save that for later or add it in if you don't mind. Just chop it small and take off all the uh, rough skin. Set your broccoli aside and now it's time to chop just two carrots up. It'll add a little bit of color, flavor, and some more substance to your soup as well. I like to peel my carrots, but that's not a must. You can leave the skin on if you like. For your carrots, you want them to be in thin pieces that cook really quickly. So. You can either grate them or chop them thinly. I love the way they look chopped. Cutting my carrots in half, and I'm gonna chop them into paper thin slice pieces. Actually, you can quarter your carrots as they get bigger. When they're the right size, carrots actually cook super fast, which is great for adding into soups. Set your carrots aside, and we're in the home prep stretch. So now we're gonna add in one cup of onion, diced up nice and small. That'll be about one small onion or half of a large onion. Give that onion a good dice. Just be careful of your fingers. Lastly, we're gonna mince four cloves of garlic and you can definitely double or triple that if you want, maybe one whole head. I'm not gonna judge you. When I said four, I really meant seven. That's me though. Give it a good smash. Take the skin off and now it's time to mince it up. Smashing the garlic really helps release the oils, which is wonderful for a soup. They're gonna infuse much more readily. I have my large Dutch oven over medium heat and I'm adding three tablespoons of butter. If you want, you could use olive oil instead or use a little bit of both. It's totally up to you. Now we're adding the onion in as well as the carrot. And we're just gonna stir this until the onion's translucent and the carrot is softened. It'll be about five minutes stirring occasionally. While you're at it, let's add in half a teaspoon of salt, as well as about half a teaspoon of cracked pepper. Mm, the smell is amazing. When the weather cools down, there's a brisk chill in the air. I love comforting dishes like this. It really like takes the edge off of coming in from the cold. My onion's translucent and the carrot softened slightly, so now it's time to add in the minced garlic. As you know, garlic is amazing and delicious, but it burns quickly, so we don't add it in first and we make sure to move things around constantly. Your garlic's gonna cook for about two minutes. This garlic is so fragrant and amazing. Time to add in two to three tablespoons of flour. This will help thicken things up and give you a nice creamy, silky base. So sprinkle that flour in. And now we're just going to mix the flour in and make sure it coats everything and cooks completely. Right now I'm adding four cups of chicken stock and we're just going to mix as we pour it in. That's half of it. And it's on to the next ingredient. And stirring in the half and half. The soup is so creamy, comforting, delicious. It's the perfect thing for cold weather. Although I have friends in Pasadena who used to make this when it was blazing hot as well. <laughs> After the half and half is added, we're gonna increase the temperature to medium high and bring this to a simmer. Once the pot comes to a simmer, we're gonna go back to low now and it's time to add in our broccoli and let this cook for a little while. After you add the broccoli, sprinkle in one extra half teaspoon of salt, cover it up and let this cook on low for about 15 minutes. You're gonna to wanna to check on it after 10 and just see what the broccoli is like. If it's nice and soft, you're ready for the next step. While this is cooking down, it's time to shred that cheese. I don't recommend using pre-shredded cheese for this because it's coated in basically like small pieces of wood. It's a wood pulp, so it won't melt as easily. 
freshly grate your cheese for the best results. And I'm using the fine grater side so it melts really quickly. I'm starting eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. If you want, you can use an extra sharp cheddar, a white cheddar, or really any similar cheese. They're all gonna be fine. Look at that. That is ready to add right into the pot as soon as the broccoli are cooked through. It's been almost 15 minutes. Let's check on our soup. Mmm, the smell is so good. <laughs> My broccoli is softened and I'm gonna grab some paprika and ground mustard and these are gonna add so much flavor. I'm just sprinkle in one teaspoon of ground mustard and if you don't have any of this in your pantry, you could definitely use like two teaspoons of regular mustard. In this case, I recommend using Dijon. Stir that in and then half a teaspoon of paprika, which is optional. It adds a lot of extra flavor and a bit of extra color. Stir those both in, and we're gonna take this off heat right now. Now, off heat, we're gonna add in our cheddar cheese. So sprinkle it in while you stir. Ah, cheddar and soup, the best combination possible. Our soup is ready, so it's time to get this in a bowl, garnish, and taste. If you like this recipe, don't forget to check out my Comfort Classics playlist. That is a symphony of cheesy deliciousness. I'll see you in the next video.